What's up guys, it's Tech and welcome to today's video. Now today's video, I'm going to show you guys a, a really cool emulator that I used when I first started doing, you know, working with emulators. Uh, if you just want to play and have fun, now there's a lot of different kind of emulators as you guys know. Now I will be putting the video up on for RetroArch Part 2 and how to set it up and you know, the settings and all that. Probably first thing tomorrow or Friday. But for now, I want to show you guys one of my favorite emulators that I like to play. Uh, these are games that, you know, it's only GameCube and Wii. So a lot of you guys have heard of it called Dolphin Emulator. Now there's a lot of different kind of emulators to play different kind of platforms, right? PS2, PS3, um, uh, what's what else? Game Boy Advance and all those other ones, right? So there's uh, different kind of small emulators for each one. But obviously RetroArch brings all that together. I think that's why RetroArch is... To me, it's one of my favorites so far. So, so this is Delphin Emulator. As you know right now, I have nothing in here. So I want to show you guys how to do it step by step. If you guys want to play, maybe you want to record, you know, playing, you know, Mario, whatever you want to do, uh, GameCube games or Wii. Now, for now, I'm just going to play a simple GameCube game because I do not have a Wii controller. A Wii is a little more different. It, it does consider needing some kind of Wii controller. You could play with the Wii U controller don't have one I have an Xbox controller that's the only thing I have so so let's do that real quick so now what we're gonna do is first thing we're gonna do is where we're gonna go get it from right so let's go to here dolphin emulator so you click it and it's right here downloads or you can go into it more so you can figure out what it looks like right so if you click on it and then this is what you want to click on so dolphin emulator 5.0 for Windows for Mac and Linux so click it extract it with um, whatever you might have like if you have a winzip so you'll get a folder that will come up like they want you to extract it once you extract it you'll get the dolphin 64 which is mine 64 now depending on what you have you know download 64 bit 32 bit make sure you download the right bit for your computer uh, windows uh, for the dolphin uh, and then once you extract it it'll come up like this kind of folder you'll have languages and all these I mean don't mess with any of these just leave it in there right so but you would just click on dolphin and then your dolphin should come up. So this is where I'll come up from here, right? And you can obviously right click. I would probably right click and then put it on your taskbar as I have right here. So taskbar means down here, you just click it and it'll come up. So if I click it, it just comes up. See that? Cool. That's done. Now we're going to go into where the game's at, right? So I love to use ROM emulation. Now a lot of people don't like to show where they get their games from. I don't know. I have an idea. People like to just hide stuff, but uh, you can Google it. Obviously, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you can go to ROM emulation. I like to use I like free ROMs. I like to use this. I like uh, full ROM packs. I like to use this. There's a lot of cool ones in here. And then there's another one that people like been talking about. It's called the ROM Hustler. I don't haven't really messed with this yet. So uh, ROM Hustler is another one. So play around what you want. Uh, I'm gonna just show you a simple one here from ROM emulation because to me it's simple. This one though costs, I think, money. You have to have an account. Um, now we can go to GameCube, and I'm just gonna type in. I think I've already have a game that's uh, pretty much installing right now. It's finished. So here it is right now. So uh, I have it right here, right there. Double click on it. So this is what I'm using. I'm using WinR64. Uh, uh, you can use Win WinZip7. Same thing. Um, so what you're gonna look is for the ISO file here. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extract this to a folder that I've created on my storage disk. So again, let me show you what I'm talking about so I can be more detailed. Uh, so if I go to my storage, this is my external storage. In here, I've created another folder called ROM games. And here I have all my old, all my games, my ROM games, like whatever, 64-bit, I mean Nintendo 64, PS3, PSP, whatever you wanna call it. And I've created a GameCube and Wii U section right here. So, right, so it's MTS right now. Now I'm gonna go in here. So I'm gonna extract this in here. So I'm gonna go here, go to ROM games. Right, I created it. GameCube and Wii, and I'm say okay. So I'm gonna let it go in there. So I'll take a few minutes, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So the game extracted. It got done. Now at this point, I want to show you guys how to put in the path in here so if you want to put in your net let's say you've created a you know let me show you what I'm talking about to be more in detail rather than me just keep talking uh, so I go back to my 
PC, storage, wrong games, game boy. Okay, let's say you have a bunch of games and you want to put it in here, right? You want to put it in Dolphin Emulator. Uh, you could, if you just, if I drag this in here, it's not going to just go in there, it's going to probably play the game. But I want to put it in there. You got to create that path. You got to put in that, you got to basically show the path where you want to get it from. You know, you got to tell Dolphin Emulator to do that, right? So to do that, to do that, we're going to do E is go in here. So we're going to go to configure. So you just click on configure. Share over here, it's right here, configure. And then go to paths and add the path. Now the path I want to go into is straight up in here. So we're going to go to, obviously it's uh, here, storage, ROM, and then GameCube and then select. And it automatically puts it in there. So if whatever games you have is going to accumulate and just put it in there for you, right? I only got one as an example. Now that's it. Simple as that. And you're ready to play. But um, now you, before you actually ready to play, you want to put in your controller, right? So next method would be put in your controller. You go to controllers. Now you want to go to. You have all these options. You could now if you have a Wii connection, you have you have a Wii game, you have a GameCube, you want to put it in here. Connect it with one of these that's pretty probably more simpler to do. You have a game GameCube adapter Wii. You might have a, I don't know. You might have a a real Wii remote, so that'll be easy. But I don't. So I got an Xbox controller, and so I'm just gonna do a standard controller. So I'm gonna do standard controller configure. Now as you can see here, I've already basically configured it. You can see everything's moving correctly, but it's not hard. All you gotta do is look at your Xbox controller. Right, you look like you look at your Xbox controller, and you do the same thing. You just press, you know, you press the button A for A, B for B, X for X, Y for Y, Z for sh right shoulder, right the right shoulder to the right side, and then start for start, and then your your D pad. Your D pad is that little thing on the on the left corner, you know, not the joysticks, but the, that's the D pad is the other one, and you say up down left right and then you come to the joysticks issue same thing you, then you use a joystick left the joystick uh, so you say you know the uh, you do up down left right you know you can see all that and then once you do that it finishes and then your right one same thing and then you come in here you do your triggers which are the bottom triggers which is the you know l2 r2 those are the triggers right so you can see that and then once you got that done save it name it here I named it Xbox save it and then load it and then close and then you're ready to go and you say close here and you're ready to go and then you, all you gotta do is click on this play and then we should get straight to the game now let's let's see let's press yeah look at that controller works I'm using the Xbox controller so, which is awesome, right? So, would you like to continue without? Let's continue without saying yes. Nintendo. Nintendo. Jesus, you got a lot. Why you got? Why you got a lot? Games. Oh shit! Bitch. Get it, get it, Mario. Pass. Where's Mario at? Mario, pass. Oh, oh, down the field. Oh, toe shoot. What the fuck, shoot? Oh, you gonna play like that, huh? Oh, not today. Okay, I'm taking this game too serious. We're not here to play. I'm just here to show you guys how this shit works. But uh, I need a score. I just need a score real quick. Okay, if Don Kong scores and it's over. Let's just put... Oh, what is that shit? Cheater. Don... Mario, get up! Oh, that would've been a nice pass right there. Excuse me, sir. Oh. So that's that. Uh, I'm gonna X out. So that, there you go. So that's a simple emulator you guys can use instead of you know a retro arc. And now uh, this is only for Nintendo and GameCube. So pretty simple. Uh, you know, put in all your games in here, let it accumulate, and then just have fun. So and then you can stream. You can whatever you want to do. You can um, you know, record. But that's that. So hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, until next time, guys. I'm out.